Hello, my name is William Meek of the Harmony Meek Gallery. I'd like to introduce you to Richard Siegelman's work. Uh, he was born in 1934 in Coney Island, New York, and he lived until uh, 2021. And uh, he left a wonderful legacy of work. And uh, he uh, lived most of his life uh, in either New York City or in Woodstock, New York, where his home actually was. In New York City, he usually maintained a studio uh, uh, in the Bowery or Bleecker Street or on the West Village. Uh, so this is an example of uh, uh, a pastel that he did uh, in the early 80s that uh, uh, showed how he liked doing women in studio settings. And uh, the next piece, though, is a monotype uh, uh, done in the 90s, and it's uh, actually called Brooklyn. And uh, there is a, a, a very fine book uh, published by the Artist Book Foundation uh, that uh, focuses on his black uh, uh, monotypes. He also did color monotypes uh, throughout his career, but uh, uh, this showed his uh, love of New York City and uh, he treated it with great respect. The next work is uh, actually quite rare in terms of medium because as far as I know, uh, I can only f figure that he maybe did a dozen oils on paper. He uh, typically used oil on canvas or on uh, wood panel. Uh, uh, but this particular piece of Woodstock, of the lake of Woodstock, is uh, probably in the, uh, early, the, the early to mid 80s. And uh, uh, the uh, Albany Museum of History and Art I've just acquired five works of Richards for their permanent collection that uh, are fi primarily focused on Woodstock subject matter, uh, plus one uh, street scene of New York City. And then the next piece is a, uh, another black and white monotype. The interesting thing about this particular monotype is that he actually uh, uh, was, uh, uh, used the plate the exact size as the paper, whereas usually in most monotypes, the paper has a wide margin. And uh, this showed his, also his love for using women with uh, hats. Because here he has a, a black hat and a white hat used very effectively. Uh, the contrasts in this particular monotype are wonderful. And then the final work is a very uh, early pastel from the, about 1982-83 of uh, a whole series that he did of rooftops of, of Manhattan. And uh, a, a horizontal version of this couple is actually in the uh, Baker Museum at Artist Naples here in Naples. And uh, uh, that shows the strength of his work in that he, uh, some people know him only for doing beach scenes in Naples, but they only actually represent about 20% of his work, where uh, this shows the strength of what he is able to do uh, throughout his career, doing the subject matter in uh, Santa Fe, Woodstock. Uh, he even went to Europe on, on occasion. Uh, so these are the last group I just showed you are all works relating to the state of New York or New York City.